our countdown underway. And match 29 begins. A race between Jet 2928 and Wix Light Z of the Red and Blue Alliance to grab power cells out of the Red Trench. Both robots head toward that trench instead of going for the power cells on the initiation line. It looked like ultimately Wix Light Z was able to get to those power cells first, and that was big. However, the Blue Alliance still able to better capitalize on the autonomous period to take the early lead as we get to the two minute mark in our match. Similar strategies being played as we've seen throughout most of our day. At least initially, both the Red and Blue Alliance focusing on an all-offense strategy, robots cycling between the loading zone and the power ports to score. Occasionally, we will see some snipes of defense. It looks like Jet2928 was hoping to do that for the Blue Alliance. They're grabbing some power cells over near the loading zone. And instead of going over to score, they're letting Hater and Shaq do that while they play a little bit of defense. It is worth noting, Jet, a little too much contact, they get respawned. When a robot respawns, they lose any power cells that were in their hopper. Jet 2928 had a full hopper on that respawn, and when they came back to the initiation line, they had to start fresh with an empty hopper. One minute remaining in the match, Blue Alliance in the lead, 13 points separate our two alliances, but Red Alliance take the lead back thanks to the efforts of Wix Light Z. Tiger 1 and Ryan 3359 coming in to score additional points for the Red Alliance. Blue took the lead right back from them, and Hader and Shaq hoping to keep that lead in place as we enter our endgame period in just five seconds. Blue Alliance 10 scored power cells away from the shield generator energizing ranking point. Red Alliance need a bit more than that if they want to get to that 90 power cell target. 20 seconds remaining in the match. Shaq, Jet, and Hater all firing power cells for Blue to hit that 90 power cell target, and they make it happen with 12 seconds remaining in the match. Our scores are neck and neck, 307 to 310. It's going to come down to the robots that can pull themselves up in the final moments of the match. It looks like three Red Alliance robots were able to do it, but not for Blue. That could be the clutch move that gives the Red Alliance the win. And it was the Red Alliance victorious 385 to 332. Our teams and our alliances neck and neck into that end game, but the Red Alliance capitalizes with three robots elevated and a level switch for 90 end game points and a ranking point to go along with it. That's going to be three ranking points earned for the Red Alliance, two from their victory and one from their shield generator operational status. The Blue Alliance not going home empty handed. Though. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.